Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on Noah Cates making his debut tonight, his player profile, as we see what we're getting in the great Noah Cates out of Minnesota Duluth. We're also, guess who the Flyers are playing tonight? The Minnesota Wild. So he gets to make his debut in his home state. So even better for him, he's from Stillwater, Minnesota. Fifth round pick, obviously the brother of Jackson Cates, played for the Omaha Lancers in the USHL, kicked butt there in his final season, um, and then continued to progress each season at the University of Minnesota Duluth from his first year in 1819 to the final season this year in 21-22. Uh, he's a great, smart, high-witted player that plays very good on both ends of the ice. The Flyers did say about him, he's a guy that's a coach's dream. You really want to work with this guy, how driven he is, how motivated he is to be the best. I think he's a guy first coming up um, that he's going to wow, not what well, wow might be strong, but impress us defensively before he does offensively because he's a guy that has third line center if he can consistently stay in the NHL written all over him because he plays a very smart two-way game. He's good at cutting down the lanes. He's going to use his 6-2 frame to block shots. Not the biggest kid at only 180, so I think he'll continue to maybe put on a few uh, pounds before he gets to age 25 season. Um, He's 23 now in the peak of it, in the middle of his prime when you kind of start your prime there, you're 25 onward, etc., etc., 24 onward, whatever you want to consider it season. I think he'll continue to grow, but he's a very good player. Good in the face-off dot if you want to keep him at center. Um, well, he's played some center, I should say. He's listed as a left wing in other listings. Or if you want to put him on the wing, because the Flyers obviously have 86,000 different guys that they consider to play center, that, that can play center, excuse me, and are moving Joel Farabee to center right now. So whatever you want to do with Cates, I think he'll play fine. I do think his game, though, uh, profiles 2-3-C, because he plays very good on both ends of the ice. He cuts down the passing lanes really well, but he's also a very good passer. Not that he can't shoot the puck. He's a good shooter of the puck, but he's a very good passer and a guy that can set up his teammates in the offensive zone while being a guy that is first and foremost going to stop guys in the defensive zone and then get the puck up to his teammates and the guys on his line, say if it's Owen Tippett, that are able to be able to finish and, and get it done at the other end, or say if it's uh, Frost on the other end, playing him on the wing, which is probably what he should be doing and not center, th then he can get it up to him and the speedster can go down the ice. So I think he profiles more, even though he's listed as a winger or something. I think in the NHL, his play style of just being a quick-witted two-way player profiles better as a C and able to stick because there's a lot of wingers in the league that are able to play solid two-way and produce about 20 points a season. There's not a, as many centers that are th as good as Noah Cates profiles defensively and at cutting off passing lanes, in my opinion, and being able to just play a good 3C where he doesn't overcomplicate things and just basically keeps it simple, stupid type uh, profile, then I think that's a pretty good spot because... How good of a 3C Derek Broussard has been for different teams in his career offensively when he never has been good defensively until he's progressed defensively in his last couple seasons and actually has been decent 5-5 five five, um, is how good I think Noah Cates can be defensively and then the offense will come. So I think he's a guy that's going to impress defensively first and foremost, but it wouldn't be surprised if he creates some chances for guys in the offensive zone and that it just doesn't end with any points for him because obviously finishing has been part of the issue for the Flyers the entire season. So it's going to be interesting to see how he fits in, but I'm excited to see his debut tonight for Noah Cates. This has been the latest edition of the Grittiest Take by Sports Fanatic News. As you get the profile on Noah Cates, as he's set to make his debut in his hometown tonight at 8 p.m., the Stillwater, Minnesota native is going to debut for the Flyers, and I personally believe will be a center in the NHL uh, to stick around if he does stick around for the long haul, which I think he has a good chance of doing because of the way he plays the game, as I said in this video. Please hit subscribe down below. Of above the easy to use widgets, keep trying to go to 215 or more to meet our end of March goal. Really appreciate your guys' love and support this far. Let's go Noah Cates. Let's go Flyers. Hayden Hodgson's been impressive this far. Hopefully Noah can impress in his games as well. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.